My interest in research started very early on. So when I first started working as a dietitian, I used to come across situations in my clinical practice where I didn't know the answer. So I just started on my own, collecting data, analysing it, submitting it to conferences, and just trying to really find out ways of trying to improve the care that I was delivering to patients or the impact of the care that I was delivering to patients. The ICA program came about at a really good time for me, so it was at the right stage of my career. The difference of the ICA program compared to other programs is that it delivers so much more than just providing you some funding. It seems to me anyway that it tries to develop a rounded researcher. Just as an example, one of the things that I get from the ICA program is a mentor and the mentor is somebody that I probably wouldn't have come across before. She's inspirational, she provides so much support, she's very down to earth, and she's giving time aside to support me and mentor me, and I find that's really useful. It also provides funding to go to courses I wouldn't normally have otherwise gone to and improve the skills in areas that I wouldn't have normally developed in. My interest is about older people, and that's what I focus my PhD on, but older people with a kidney condition and obviously I'm also very interested in diet and in my clinical practice I've seen how diet can make people feel better. Also what diet can do um, with people with kidney disease, it can give people some control as to how they manage their condition. I think the award has been really useful in terms of my overall development, so clinically I've really developed having skills that I didn't have before but the impact on the people around me I think is something that I've really taken from this award because I've been able to support others to get research grants. Um, I feel like I'm hopefully an inspiration to other people so that they can follow in my footsteps as well. I think combining research and clinical has been exceptional and I, I do really believe that this is a really useful combination and productive combination. So the research, you get the skills to then implement in your clinical practice so for example I feel like I use the skills a lot to support others in doing service developments or to look at improving efficiencies of the service that we deliver. At the same time working clinically you really see the issues that are pertinent to patients and you've got the skills then to work out how to improve that. The top tips I would say to people are um, don't get disheartened with rejection that's just part and parcel and, and so I would just say to anybody not to give up and to keep trying.